I got the new Hardcore Superstar album in my hands. Hand. Uh, I, I'm not a person who, uh, who buys a lot of CDs, but when Hardcore Superstar releases an album, uh, it's just something that I have to get. Um, and this is signed as well. Um, yeah, this band has been, it's a hard rock, glam metal, heavy metal, street metal, whatever, uh, sleaze metal band from Gothenburg, Sweden. I live in Sweden. Uh, I've been a fan of theirs since, you know, the year the year 2000, I think. 2001, maybe, but not later than that. That's a long time. That's pretty much 15 years of my life. I'm 23 now, so I started listening to this band very early on, and I'm still a big fan of it, of the band. Uh, and that's not just, you know, nostalgia, you know. It's, oh, it's that old band that I used to love. Let's check out the new album. Could be fun. For nostalgic pur purposes, not at all. It's it's been consistently more or less my favorite band, one of my favorite bands for sure since then, uh, and that that's something I think. <laughs> I always look forward to their new albums, always enjoy listening to them a lot. Always one of the bands where I listen to the album the most time, most amount of times, if that makes sense. I just I'm very much looking forward to this. Um, it does have, let's see, one, two, three, maybe five songs actually that I have heard that they released before. Uh, but there are five new songs, and uh, I have yet to listen to the five songs that I have heard in context. So let's do that. Actually, first, let's just have a look at the album itself, at the CD itself. So this is the cover, obviously, and it is signed. Uh, Actually, I have ha I have their latest one right here, which is signed as well. Let's compare. Um, well, there you go. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this album is entitled HCSS. Uh, I guess what you would come on focus. Well, the acronym for Hardcore Superstar or whatever. Um, yeah. The back here, you got the songs. The ones that they released already, I think they released Growing Old uh, a while back as a song that they had recorded in their teens. And honestly, I don't know if that version uh, was actually recorded back in 1994 or whenever it was, or if that if that version that they released back a while, a while back, if that was the newly recorded version. So I'll check, I'll, I'll listen to this one obviously and then compare it to the um, the other one that they uploaded and see if there's a difference. Uh, they also released Don't Mean Shit, which is great. Uh, they released Glue, uh, Touch the Sky, and Off With Their Heads. So those are the songs that they released. Uh, so the remaining five, yeah, I have yet to listen to. Uh, so let's have a look at the inside as well. Got the CD here and the track list on the CD. Then the booklet. With the, you know, the lyrics to the songs, obviously. Some pictures. Neck tattoo outline. And then they would like to thank a bunch of people too, which which they always do. <laughs> so, yeah, this is um, this is great. Uh, so what I'm gonna do? I'm basically just gonna gonna spend some time with the album, <laughs> listen to it a few times or s several times, uh, and I'm gonna get back to you in say a few days, and I'm gonna you know talk about the band, the album, uh, maybe mention a few things that I missed. Now uh, I'm just kind of a little bit too excited to listen to this to um, to to gather my thoughts more properly, or, you know, to uh, to structure to structure my thoughts or whatever I, I want to say. Uh, so whatever I might have missed or whatever, you know, I'm gonna talk about that soon. Uh, well, anyway, I'm very excited to listen to this now, and uh, yeah, I'll get back to you very soon.
Okay, we are back. I've actually written down some stuff here, yes, on, on paper <laughs> that I wanted to mention because I feel like it would be too difficult to structure my thoughts uh, just 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 doing it improvised. So I have some stuff here that I wanna wanna mention. So first of all, I wanted to uh, to get this video up sooner, uh, more in conjunction with the release of the album, but I have. Uh, haven't really been ready to talk about it yet. Uh, so, but here I am, a couple of weeks later. Um, so, I just have a few things to say about this. It might take a while to get through this, because you know it is my, it is a very special band to me, and I, I will get into some of this. I, I will get into that very soon. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, because it is such a special band to me, I kind of do feel like I, in a way, I can't be entirely objective, because you know they've just. They've been with me for so long, um, but uh, yeah, well, anyway, these are some of my thoughts. Um, also, I, I am a big time amateur reviewer, and I don't usually review music. Uh, I usually review films. I'm, a, I'm an amateur reviewer when it comes to movies, too, but especially music, I'm, I don't talk about that a whole lot. But anyway, um, I don't know if, if Hardcore Superstar can really make a bad album in my ears. Um, because yeah, they've all just always been so special to me, uh, in a way which um, can't really explain, but that that no other band has ever even come close to, you know, musically maybe yeah, but you know, just what 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 the band what what a band can mean to me, Hardcore Superstar has always been on the top, and um, I guess that's you know kind of why I can't be entirely objective, uh, but I I <laughs> I'm afraid I do have some negative things to say about this album or well you know uh, so in a way maybe I can be objective I, I, I don't know which I don't know uh, anyway um, but yeah this album has not grabbed me as much as the other albums grabbed me um, although the last album um, that they you know the, the, the last one before this new one um, wasn't as special to me either, but for the most part, I really did like that one a lot. Um, but most albums, they just have they they have songs that when I that I just put on a pedestal. That you know, when I think about these albums, I think about certain songs that clearly stand out to me. The albums might be you know, the albums are, I, I guess, it, it, to me, masterpieces. Most of them, but they they still have certain songs that just stand out to me. And this new one doesn't really have that in the same way. I, I do have favorites, which I will get into. I will talk about each song soon. Um, but, uh, yeah. And I haven't been as occupied with this new album over these last couple of weeks since I filmed the intro. Um, as I have been with the other ones, you know, when, when they came out. Uh, you know, especially Split Your Lip and, and earlier. Um... Maybe maybe the fact that they uh, released half of the songs, like I said before, half of the songs I had already heard. Uh, maybe the fact that they had done that kind of made my ex anticipation for the album lower. I don't know. And and also uh, since I didn't I didn't absolutely love all of the songs that they released prior to the album. Um, but but, but I, I did film that intro obviously, and I never do that with music or, or anything like that, so obviously there's something there still. Um, but some of the songs almost feel like kind of B-side material, and that really doesn't sound like a very uh, positive thing, which is it's not. It doesn't mean that they're bad, it just means that it feels very familiar. They are trying new things on this album, for sure, but it's still it's still the, old, the same old band to me, mostly, uh, even though things are different. Um, but uh, I just feel like some songs, they don't bring a whole lot of new things to the table, even though they're new in style. But anyway, um, the album is not really as sort of hard-hitting as most of the other ones have been. Um, partly, or yeah, definitely partly because of the drumming, which um, is not as heavy, not as intense, not as prominent. The drums, they kind of fall behind. A little bit, which I think is too bad. Usually, the songs on the albums, uh, all most of the albums, they haven't really stood out to me that much, you know, when I listened to it the first time. But they've grown on me uh, with, you know, with with more and more listens. And I feel like 
uh, that's that's a good thing. Um, you know, I feel like those are the best albums uh, where you might not even like it at first, but that doesn't mean that you won't if you keep listening to it. Because if a, if an album is if an album is instantly likable, instantly catchy, that might mean that you're gonna lose interest after a few listens, because okay, you you, you feel like that you're done with it. But if an album might you might not be sure what to make of it the first time, second time you're like yeah maybe I, I can see some uh, some some promising things here. Third third listen, okay I'm liking this. Fourth, okay I'm loving I'm loving this, and, and then it just kind of keeps going. Um, that's how it has not necessarily like that with Hardcore Superstar for me, but I haven't the songs haven't been instantly like um, great for me I guess, but they have grown on me. And that's part of the reason why I like the band so much, I guess. I can just keep listening listening to the songs over and over, and I return to them pretty often. Um, but w with this new album, that hasn't really happened in the same way. And I feel I, I really do feel like I, I criticize this album too much. But I just kind of want to be honest with, w w you know, whatever popped into my head when I listen to the album, and when I think about it, that's what I want to say. And it is a lot of critical things, but... Um, I, I, this might sound contradictory, but I, I do feel like with a band that you like as much as I like this band, it's easier to focus on the negative things or to to criticize it if it doesn't live up to your expectations, uh, in, you know, in comparison or whatever to the the, the old albums. Uh, if it, if the new album feels inferior, I mean, say you have two albums new, new newly released. <laughs> One of them is a band that is completely new to you, that you've never heard before. One of them is, is by a band that you love, have loved for a long time. Um, in my case, that could be Hardcore Superstar. The albums, they're equally good, you know, the quality of the music is, is pretty much equal. But to me, I would praise the, the new band higher, just because I, I know that the band that I love so much have done better in the past. And that's, that's kind of, kind of partly what's going on here, so I I don't know if I would like it more if I wasn't such a big fan of the band. I, I really can't say, but you know, let, let's leave that, but I just something I've thought about. And it, it might also be that I've grown musically, uh, I mean, I've developed my tastes, I've, I've kind of different preferences these days. I do still love hard rock and metal, I mean, I, I listened to Behemoth the other day at the gym and I loved it. You know, I mean, it's not that I've left metal for, I mean, jeez, absolutely not. But I do have different preferences, 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 yeah, these days. Um, so, might be part of it, but also, I guess you gotta kind of respect that Hawker Superstar, they're not old guys, you know, they're in their late 30s, early 40s, 40s I guess. Um, but they have released 10 albums, and it is kind of difficult after that many albums to keep the same, you know, quality up, you know, uh, but I, I still feel like it is impressive how they, they have maintained a certain level of dedication and energy through, you know, still uh, to this day. Maybe not energy so much on this latest album musically, but live they still seem to have a lot of energy and I feel like their general sort of dedication and attitude towards the band, towards what they're doing, is still... It feels like they, they, they really do love, love what they're doing. And that's impressive. Uh, in, my, in, you know, after such a long time, after album, album, album. Anyway. Um, so that's... Now I'm, I'm gonna get into the, uh, the songs now and talk about them very briefly, one by one. Some of them I don't have too much to say about, actually. Uh, but the first one, Don't Mean, don't mean Shit, is I have kind of three favorites on this album. This this first one is is one of them. It, it's you know I've listened to it probably twenty times at least, and it's really a great one. Uh, Party till I'm gone. It's not bad, but it's kind of typical hardcore, hardcore superstar material in a way. I mean I don't know with the theme anyway, and uh, it has a pretty good chorus. It's not bad. Uh, Cemetery and off with their heads. They're okay. Um, I feel like the cemetery had some good vocals um, in in the in the outro. I do like the outro with with the vocals there. Uh, Off with their heads also has a good uh, outro with the guitars. 
uh, Fly, uh, the ballad on the album. I don't know if it's necessary to have a ballad, I, I don't know, but, but at first I really didn't like it. I, I was kind of, almost kind of making, not cringing, but I was, I was really skeptical when I first heard Fly. Uh, but that, that one did grow, grow on me for sure. Uh, and these songs, they have grown on me, but not as much as the other albums. I guess I should I should I should have mentioned that, but um, yeah, I also think that Fly has to be the longest song that they've ever made because it's like seven minutes something. You know, that's that's pretty long for a hawker superstar. Uh, then we got Ocean, which is pretty weak, pretty weak chorus, pretty uninteresting, maybe worst on the album. I don't know for sure, but it's it's not very good. Um, Touch the Sky, I feel like that's one of the best ones. Uh, it has a something pretty, uh, you know, atypical for Hardcore Superstar is that it's got a guest vocalist, which I was pretty surprised to hear when I first listened to it. I was not put off, but I was I just kind of reacted a little bit to, to that because it's not something that they've really done before. Uh, it is a different song for sure, um, but but it does have a lot of great elements that I like. And I feel like the song really builds really well, better than most songs on the album. Um, and uh, yeah, catchy and the riff is also somewhat ati atypical for uh, for the band. Uh, growing up, grown old. Uh, this is I, I said before that I wasn't sure if this one on the album was the one that they had previously uploaded or if that was an old version. But that that one that they uploaded to YouTube was definitely an old version. This new one I feel like that's better that they have improved uh, the version or that they have this version is imp an improved version. Um, one of the heaviest on, on the album, probably the most sort of uh, head-banging friendly uh, you know, except for the drums. The drums generally with the album I don't like the drums, I think it's too bad. Uh, they just... it feels like other Drum, the drummer, he's not not doing that much behind the drum set, not as much as he used to, uh, or as he did on the previous albums. I don't know. Um, but Grown Old has a ter had terrific vocals by terrific vocals by Yuki Bay, the the vocalist. Um, something that is interesting about this one is that this one starts with an intro, much in the same style as. Um, I think Split Your Lip uh, started with just w without an intro, but after 2005 with their Black album, on each on each album, you know, uh, the self-titled Dreaming in a Casket Beg for It, uh, they had some sort of intro uh, before the first track, or you know, yeah, you know, either in the same song or before uh, as a separate song. Um, <clears throat> Split Your Lip, I don't think they had that at all. Uh, but then they came back to that with uh, Come On, Take On Me, is that what it's called? Uh, yeah, it is. Um, and then they they did not have that on this one. Uh, but with this song, Grown Old, in the middle of the album, or towards the ending even, uh, they have an intro, uh, which is interesting. I feel like it could have been a good idea to start with that song since it's got the intro, but I don't know. Um, well, I don't know. It, it, it that song would have got me going more than "Don't Mean Shit." I think. Um, well, maybe it's I don't. I don't know. I do love "Don't Mean Shit," but um, still. Uh, oh, and I mentioned that that "Don't Don't Don't Mean Shit" was one of my favorites among three. The other two are "Grown Old" and "Touch the Sky," that I just talked about. Oh, and I, I also feel like Grown Old could become a live favorite. It just feels like a song that will do really well live. Uh, I'm gonna see them live this summer, actually, so uh, we'll see. They Hopefully they'll play that. Um, then we have Glue, which was the first single from the new album. Somewhat weak chorus on this one, uh, a chorus that has not really grown on me at all. Uh, but uh, otherwise it's catchy and pretty heavy. Uh, then the last track on the album is Messed Up For Sure, which is pretty unmemorable. You know, just a lot of the choruses on this album is unfortunately pretty inferior and subpar. But, and, and, and this last song has a pretty dull riff too. 
but uh, some great vocal delivery from uh, the vocalist Yuki Berry. And um, overall on the album, the vocals, the vocals is something that is not weak at all. He's doing a great job as always. Nothing that I have any complaints about whatsoever. But like I said, the drums, I just keep coming back to the drums. I don't like them. They should be heavier. Uh, the style of the album is different, but but I, I, I that puts me off the the fact that the drums sound the way they do, uh, or the fact that he plays them the way he does, you know. Um, oh, and the way they ended the album, uh, the the sort of smurfy speeded up thing that they did at the end of Messed Up for sure is very odd and kind of off putting and just leaves me confused and unsatisfied. The album does leave me kind of unsatisfied still, I mean, as it is, just because it's just not as good and I feel like it it's missing something. Um, but uh, it might have been a bit... I, I just didn't think... I don't think it was a good idea to end it like, like that. I, I don't know what they were thinking, to be honest. May, maybe I'm being harsh. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I, I feel like I'm being so harsh overall. Uh, I, I was not expecting to love this album uh, because I had heard half of it before, and all of them had all of them had not been amazing. Uh, but um, yeah, I mean, it's not like my interest uh, and um, love for the band has has, has uh, you know gone away now with this album. Not at all. I think it's a good album, um, but um, and, and you know. I've seen them live three times before and this will be the fourth time I'm seeing them now on Sweden Rock Festival this summer and they are one of the bands that I look forward to the most. So obviously, yes, I still like them a lot. But like I said, they're they're a really good live band. Uh, even if they were to play some songs that, you know, from the new album that I'm not a big fan of, I guess I would love to hear, hear them live because I would love to see them play it. would love to see what they do with it live, I, I don't know, I just, um, yeah, I guess I can end with that, that I really, really do look forward to seeing them live this summer, uh, last time was 2012, so, yeah, really look forward to it. So that was a much longer review than I expected, actually, but that's that, um, yeah, I, I'm, I was gonna say don't hate me for hating on the album, but it's coming from a huge fan of the band, so it's not like I'm putting the band down or whatever. I just, I just, I'm being honest what I feel about it. Well, yeah. So anyway, thank you for watching. Tell me what you thought about the band. I mean, about the album. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to know what what, what other people think. Uh, I did see a lot of uh, kind of dislike and uh, questionable comments, or you know, comments that you know weren't very favor favorable f about the new album. I guess you know uh, on on Facebook, but um, but I don't know. Um, yeah, yeah. Tell me what you think. But that's that's what I think. What I've just said. But yeah, that's that. Thank you for watching and for listening.